Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching another episode of What to Expect When You Get Your Replacement Neck in the Mail. So uh, if you've been following along, we've been working on uh, Devin's really cool um, replacement neck. Actually, this is not a replacement so much as it's a, a neck for a guitar that he is making. And uh, we want it to be good when it gets to him. So, so far we have um, inspected necks and we've dressed frets and polished stuff. We put the nut in and kind of fine tuned it as best we can without the rest of the guitar. Um, now we are going to kind of get it ready to ship. And we're going to, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to degunk all of the uh, in between the frets. So sometimes in the manufacturing process, bits of glue and crap and uh, just sort of, you know, gunk gets in the uh, in between the uh, frets on the fretboard. We're going to sort that out first. Then we are going to um, kind of scuff back the, uh, like as you can see, there's some a patch of crap on the, um, the heel there. We're going to get rid of that. And then we're going to brand this guy and it'll be ready to ship. So enough with the bullshit talk. Let's get started. So the tool that I like to use for degunking the neck is a regular old razor blade. And it's a kind of a low tech process, but what I like to do is just kind of go in between the frets using the razor blade as a scraper and um, just kind of clean off all the crud. And it works really, really well. Another thing I like to do is kind of break the edge here so that the playing surface is nice. And uh, you can do that with sandpaper if you want, but I have found that the razor blade works well for me. And since I'm here doing it anyway, you know, I might as well do it. So if you get a neck from a replacement company, like, um, well, like if you order a, a, a replacement neck from our friends at Bitterroot Guitars, um, cleaning up the rosewood is always a good idea before you do any oiling. And uh, that way, you know, if there's any <clears throat> machining crap in there, you don't embed it into the, uh, into the, into the fretboard. And because these frets are all polished and nice, we don't want to ding them up. This, by the way, is also a technique that you can use when you're setting up your guitars to just kind of clean off some of the, some of the crap. You know what I mean? All right, so right here, this, this fret has a lot of stuff on it. And we're going to just work that out. until it's gone. Like that. All right, that looks good. Finally, what we wanna do is get rid of some of this gipe on the, um, the edge of the heel. And we're just gonna use some 220 sandpaper on a block. <laughs> it's just sanding, but I don't know why I feel like I need to uh, Make sure my arms aren't in the way. Clean it up with some Scotch Brite here, and it's gonna look like a million bucks. Now we don't know what kind of finish uh, Devin's gonna put on this, so I don't want to put a bunch of oil down. You know what I mean? Um, because if we put a bunch of oil on here and then he puts a finish that uh, isn't compatible with it, well then that would be no good. All right, let's oil the board though because we know we're not gonna put finish on that. Okay guys, when it comes time to treat the fretboard and, and oil it down, I like to use this tried and true um, uh, boiled linseed oil. Um, it's got a little bit of wax in it too, so it won't, it won't disappear right away. And it's another high tech uh, procedure to just sort of put this stuff on here and, um, and smear it around. So some people who are smarter than me have said that um, if you use real thin penetrating oil, 
that it can get under the fretwork and, um, and swell the frets out. Um, I don't know how accurate that is, but again, they're smarter than me, so I take their word for it. So I use something nice and thick like this. You can use whatever you want, but if something happens, don't go to your old buddy Matt and go, hey, you said to use this and, and uh, yeah, because I didn't. I said to use something thick and creamy and good. Creamy. All right, now we're just going to wipe this stuff off. And Devin will be getting his new neck in the mail, and he'll be so happy. And that's what we want, right? We want everyone to be stoked. He bought that Telecaster that uh, Philip McKnight reviewed. Um, well, it wasn't so much of a review as it was a, um, a recommendation, which was very, very cool of one, Philip McKnight to do, and two, Devin to buy. You guys knew what I was talking about, right? Okay. So nice with your bad self. Huh. Okay. Looking good. Okay, guys, the last thing we're going to do to uh, Devin's neck before we ship it off is we're going to put the brand on it. That's right. All of our necks have a Texas Toast brand. It looks a little something like this. So I've been getting a bunch of questions lately. Hey, did you guys make this neck? Um, if it has our brand on it, we made it. If it doesn't, we didn't. So let's uh, start burning some wood. All of these necks need a brand. Smells like a campfire in here. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Now, I'm trying to pull a bit of a fast one. Uh, remember how I said you were gonna be able to tell that it's me doing the videos all on the same day because I have the same shirt on? Well, I got the same shirt on, but it's actually the next day. There was a bit of a camera snafu. And um, uh, so Devin's neck is in the mail. It's in route to him. And uh, so, but anyway, if you have any questions about what we did in this video, like these, um, these brands here, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you really want to deep dive with me, you can send me an email through the website and that's texastoastguitars.com. If you liked the video, give me the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, why don't you go ahead and please click the subscribe button. You want to be cool, don't you? If you appreciate content like this, you might want to go over to our Patreon page and consider becoming a member. Even a buck a month goes a long way to helping us bring you guys cool stuff like these videos. Uh, but if you can't do Patreon, that's totally cool. We get it. Just share this video as many places as you can possibly think of and help us grow the channel that way. You know, I ask you guys to share these videos as many places as you can think of because I've been kicked off of just about every guitar builder forum. I don't know why. They don't like me. Anyway, until next time, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. Ow, my iron's really hot. Whoa, shit. <laughs>